Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Doing a quick video in my car on lunch, chilling out like a motherfucker. So, on yesterday, Sunday, my friend Brian came by, we had some lunch, it was really nice, and he brought over Sunset Overdrive. Stop wobbling. Calm down. So, uh, I just wanted to give you my quick uh, mini review impressions of it. I look rather tired. What's new? I haven't really slept well past week. So, <clears throat> I was really excited about this game. The, the footage and the information previous to more recently um, sort of touted it as some kind of almost like online open world MMO. I, th I thought it was going to be just more of a, an open world multiplayer kind of game. Uh, the more I found out about it, the less I was interested. I thought the, the cartoony graphics and style were interesting and I liked them but they didn't like blow me out of the water. Um, at one point my mother had come over to get something and she saw it and she goes, oh this looks real. And you know, she couldn't believe how great it looked and it does look great. But to me, that kind of art style never really did it for me. Um, in terms of the gameplay, it really reminds me of Dead Rising a lot. Mixed, but not as, oh, it doesn't feel as, well no, it reminds me of Dead Rising a lot and Jet Grind or Jet Set Radio, depending on where you are. Um, you're pretty much grinding on everything. And then, you know, looping around and shooting guys, and then, you know, jumping up and down on whatever wire or whatever it is you're hanging on. And it's very fast. Um, you really have to have good reflexes in terms of, you know, jumping around and shooting at the same time. The monsters, to me are kind of uh, uninspired. I don't really think they look great or anything. They all kind of look similar. You know, one has a bulbous head that glows and explodes. One looks like a tank kind of from Left 4 Dead, but like, you know, it's all fucked up colors or whatever. You know, so uh, I, I, I just not really, I, I really wasn't feeling it to be completely honest with you. And, and I'm surprised that now I've done this and the Evil Within review and two games I really were looking for, was looking forward to that I was let down by. Um, if I were to like give it a grade, I would say, you know, six, six and a half, seven. I'd say seven. It's a good game. Um, you'll find a market that really loves this game and says, you know, it's like Jet Grand Radio. It's really colorful. It's really flashy. It's really fast. Um, the missions seem very repetitive, even if they're different, like killing a certain amount of guys or collecting items or whatever. It's a lot of, like, fetch quests and stuff. Uh, I don't see the story. I mean, from what I played, I didn't play a ton of it. We played a few hours. Um... The story seems okay, but again, I, I, I don't know if I'd said this, I, I preferred Dead Rising. I thought Dead Rising was more fun and, and interesting. Um, this is kind of more tongue-in-cheek. They, they actually reference video games and they, they break that fourth wall in terms of the game character and you and they say things to like make jokes. The stupid phone is still wobbling. Is that better? I'm a little crooked. What's new? I look like Patty, filming videos like this. Patamus. So, it's, um, I think if you, if you were really looking forward to it and you knew what you were getting into, you'd probably really enjoy it. For me personally, it didn't do it for me completely. I'm not going to buy it. And, um, I was disappointed, I guess. I also was looking online because I'm big into co-op online. And I was looking at these uh, chaos modes. That's what they're called in the game. And I think you have to go to a, is it a phone booth or an ATM? I forget. And you can link up to other people around the world online and do like um, these big missions together. Now they're not the story missions but they are just other missions where you can unlock new rewards and I think that's cool but I like games that kind of intermingle the main story and the, the and the multiplayer you know like they kind of just come together. Um, I hope you know there's a couple other games I really want. I want to get Metro uh, 2033 the, the Redux or whatever. Um, I had played the original one on the 360. It was really cool. I didn't beat it, so I want to go back and get those um, on the Xbox One. Uh, I'm also looking forward to Mad Max, though I don't feel enough information came out about it, so there's a possibility I won't get that, though I do love the original series and movies, and I know the new one is coming out rather soon. And The Division is the one I'm really excited for, Tom Clancy's Division, like an open-world, sort of MMO-ish, online, shooting, RPG, um dystopian, post-apocalyptic. That looks really cool. I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, there might have been one more, but I can't think off the top of my head right now. So, um, that's about it. I just, 
I don't know. I, I guess I'm. I, I found it interesting that it's getting all these amazing reviews, and I'm kind of playing it and going, eh. So that's it. Life is all right. Everything's going pretty good. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.